Hello there. So our billionaire chancellor, who hiked taxes and signed the cheques on our behalf that crippled the nation's finances, might be positioning himself for prime minister. No. Just no. So there are now rumours about an imminent Rishi resignation, as well as the Telegraph saying that the Solicitor General, Alex Chalk, has been identified by Tory whips as a likely resignation candidate. And another weekend looms for Boris supporters of phoning around garnering support for their boss while the PM has a talk with his number 10 staff and channels the Lion King character Rafiki by using the quote, change is good. But these rumours swirling about regarding Rishi being back out on leadership battle manoeuvres will do nothing to settle the PM's political stomach, especially as Rishi has recently not ruled out running for the top job on some four occasions and a Rishi resignation might just get the letters of no confidence in Boris rolling in again, or get enough heavyweights pushing for Boris to resign to tip him into it. But Rishi has now tied himself to this big tax, big spend agenda of Boris Johnson's in the joint statement they made in the Times a few days ago. Tax and spend plans that threaten the livelihoods of every low-income family in the country. So how could he U-turn on that if he became Prime Minister? Is this what we want as a country? More tax and spend? Ever higher energy prices? Rocketing inflation? Is this the leader we need right now? I say no. Especially after all the PPE and furlough fraud and money mismanagement. And it seems the Chancellor's also wedded to the long-term high energy costs – what with giving out rebates to everyone that we then have to repay back in future. It's almost like the country is being prepared for increased energy costs on a permanent basis. And Rishi probably wouldn't notice if his gas bill went up a hundredfold, but for the rest of us... If he thinks this short-term sugar rush of money into people's pockets is going to sweeten the nation's thinking towards him, he might be in for a rude shock. And an extra £200 in every household will not boost the economy much either, especially as it has to be paid back. And as to his now comprehensively debunked plan to give out council tax rebates to the lower tiered households, that the experts say will end up giving money to those that don't need it as much as it will not be giving money to those that do need it. And the total of those two rebates, £350, will not impress anyone. Then there's the Bank of England governor, who Rishi works closely with, calling for wage restraint. Something Boris has just rejected. So things are on the move. If Boris does have to go, we need a real leader with principle, a prime minister with real-life experience and someone who is distanced enough from this discredited and unpopular government in order to be appealing to voters. There is only one man within the Tory ranks for the job, and that's Steve Baker. But it's the Tories who will vote internally for their next leader and our prime minister, and they will not go for an outlier like Baker, because he isn't part of the clique. So do you think Rushi Sunak will resign? Please like and comment below. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.